Hey guys, this is going to be a guide on running the Amazon module on Stellar. This video is brought to you by Nocturnal Proxies. Be sure to check them out on Twitter and you guys can also check out my socials in the description below. Today we'll be going over how to run the Amazon module for the most success. So first we're going to start off with the accounts tab. So for Amazon, you guys are going to need accounts and you guys can mass import your sessions right over here or add them individually one by one. So once you guys add your account, you guys will choose the region, the login IP, your account email, and your account password, and you guys can also enter in the 2FA key. Over here, you guys can select the login methods. The browser login will open up a window and request login will use requests. Once you guys log into your Amazon account, the status should be ready. Now you guys can start creating your tasks. So first, we're gonna be starting off with monitoring mode. So for monitoring proxies, I recommend using ISPs, in specific, nocturnal proxies. So here's the landing page for nocturnal proxies. They offer residential proxies and data center ISPs. So here we have some residential proxies and here we have some retail ISPs. So this is what I recommend for botting Amazon. I recommend using these classic retail ISPs. These are perfect for monitoring tasks on Amazon. Because when you're running Amazon, you're mostly running them 24-7, ISPs is a better option. If you guys are like me and you guys bought other retail sites, residential proxies come in real handy. So just for this video, if you guys use code STELLAR15, you guys can save 15% off your residential proxies order. So be sure to take advantage of this deal. Once you guys purchase the residential proxies, you guys can easily generate them through the dashboard, enter in the amount that you guys want, and click the generate button and then you can copy the proxies right here. Now back to Stellar. So here is where you enter in the SKU that you guys want to monitor. And here is where you put in the offer ID for the product. You guys can get both of these from your cook groups. So here is where you enter in the max price. I recommend putting it $15 to $30 over retail just in case there are any extra fees. So for delays, a safe spot is around $2,000 to $5,000. I personally use around $4,000. And then you select your region. So if you guys are running offer ID, run a mix of fast one and fast two. If you guys don't have the offer ID, scrape is a really good option. And for solve captcha, if your task encounters a captcha, it'll either solve it or rotate your proxy. I'm just gonna leave this blank. So for reset delay, this is the amount of time it takes for the task to reset once it picks the product up in stock. So we're gonna leave this at 5,000. And that's it for your monitoring tasks. Now we're going to move on to the tags feature of Stellar. So Stellar offers a server side monitoring feature and here's where you can see all the SKUs that are monitored through the server side. So for example, we're going to find some PS5s. So here we have the SKUs for the PS5s on Amazon. So all of these SKUs are constantly being monitored by Stellar's server side. So what this means is it doesn't require any monitoring tasks and Stellar will automatically ping your tasks if it comes in stock. So to set this up, you guys start off by creating a task and you use turbo mode. So for monitoring proxy, it doesn't really matter. You guys can use resis or ISPs and the same for checkout proxy. And for input list, you select the SKU list that you guys want. So in this case, we're gonna find the PS5 list. And now for delay, we can use 3500, quantity one, and then you select your Amazon sessions, your card attempts, a good number to use is 10, Check out attempts at 10 as well. And then start and end time if you guys have a specific release time. And solve CAPTCHA if your task runs into a CAPTCHA. And endless mode, what this means is once it buys the product, it'll try and buy it again. In this case, you can leave it unticked. And now we're covering the buy box mode. So this mode is a bit slower than turbo, but the setup is basically the same as turbo. So we select our proxies. We select the list that we want. In this case, PS5s, delay set at 3500, quantity 1, select all our sessions, card attempts at 10, checkout attempts also at 10, and that's it for setting up buy box mode. So for example, if you guys had a monitoring task that you guys created and it was monitoring the PS5 SKU, once it picks up, it's going to notify this task to start adding to cart, and the same goes for the server side mode. If you guys select the PS5 list provided by Stellar, once it picks up that this SKU's in stock, it's gonna ping your task and it's gonna start adding to cart. And that's it for the Amazon module. I hope this video helped out. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.